Google Classroom's new practice sets allow you to ask your student self-grading questions for formative and summative assessments. While there are less questions, there are some new features. Let's take a look at these new features by creating our first assessment. Let's name it to begin. You can create a couple of different types of questions. Short answer, paragraph, single select, and multi-select. If I was gonna use short answer, it will allow me to auto grade. This would be a single word, a single number, etc. I can now type in my answers in the blank and hit enter when I'm done. If students might have different variations on that answer, different spellings, different ways they could simplify it, I can type in multiple versions of that answer. The more potential variations on the correct answer, the less likely you're going to have to go back and grade this by hand. If you click new question down below, it'll create a new question down below. If you click the plus symbol and then choose new question, it'll create the question above the last question you made. From here, I can see that paragraph is not auto graded. I can still type a question. I'll just have to go back and check it manually. You also have the option for multiple choice questions. Now, these could be questions that have a single selected answer or multiple correct answers. These multiple choice options work very similar to any Google form question. You will have to choose the correct answer from this set. If I wanted to create a multiple choice with more than one answer, I would just create a new question and then write something that has multiple possible answers. And then you'd select the two or more possible answers. Once you have all of your questions created, click on done editing. This will allow you to share it with your students directly as a link. You can copy and paste that, or you can open it as an assignment and attach it that way. You can also always view your assignment as a student and get the student view of what they see. Some other little reminders within creating those questions. If there's a question I didn't like, if I click that vertical ellipses, that universal menu, I can delete my question. Or if there's a question I like that has all the possible answers that I want to use, I can click duplicate and it'll create another version of that cop or that question directly below, just like in Google Forms. If I don't want to use it, I of course can just delete it. Again, when you're done with everything, you can click done editing and then share out your Google practice set.